In this video, we're going to be showing you 10 essential stretches designed for those who spend a significant amount of time sitting. The first stretch I'd like you to familiarize yourself with is the forward fold. Stand with your feet together, shoulders back, chest proud, gaze straight ahead, and hands at your sides. Breathe in, and as you exhale, start by tipping your chin to your chest, and then continue to slowly roll down, bringing the crown of your head toward the floor. Imagine moving each vertebrae one by one as you slowly fold your chest forward toward your thighs. Your chest may not actually touch your thighs depending on your flexibility. Once you are folded forward, you may choose to interlace your fingers around your big toes. As shown, clasp your opposite hand around opposite elbow or gently press both hands against the floor. Gently shake your head yes and shake your head no to relieve any tension in your neck. Stay here for 30 to 60 seconds. Number nine, ankle rotation stretch Start on all fours with your shoulders over your wrists and hips over knees. Engage your upper back muscles by pushing through your hands on the floor and making sure your shoulders are pulled away from your ears. Engage your core to keep your back flat. Extend your right leg behind you, pressing the ball of your foot into the floor and flexing your ankle so your heel is raised off the floor. Allowing the movement to come from your toes, rotate your ankle forward, back, and around without lifting your toes from the floor. You may feel this stretch both in your ankle and your leg. You repeat for eight to 10 rotations on the same side. Then slowly return to your starting position before extending your left leg and repeating on the other side. Number eight, 90 by 90 stretch. For those who find pigeon pose to be challenging or too intense, this stretch may be a nice alternative. Sit with your right knee bent at 90 degrees in front of you, calf perpendicular to your body and the sole of your foot facing to the left. Keep your right foot flexed. Allow your leg to rest flat on the floor. Place your left knee to the left of your body and bend the knee so that your foot faces behind you. Keep your left foot flexed. Keep your right butt cheek on the floor. Try to move the left cheek as close to the floor as possible. It may not be possible if your hips are very tight. Hold for 30 seconds to two minutes. Repeat on the other side. Number seven, cat cow. Start on all fours with your shoulders over your wrists and hips over knees. Take a slow inhale and on the exhale, round your spine and drop your head toward the floor. This is the cat posture. Inhale and lift your head, chest and tailbone toward the ceiling as you arch your back for cow. Continue to repeat for one to three minutes, moving as slowly as you want. Number six, pigeon pose. You can easily come into pigeon pose from a downward facing dog. To get into downward facing dog, stand with your feet hip width apart and forward fold at the waist, allowing your palms to touch the floor. Walk your hands forward, keeping your legs straight and hips elevated so that you come into an inverted V shape. Allow your head to hand between your arms and feel the stretch along the back of your legs. This is downward facing dog. From this position, extend your right leg high and then bring your leg underneath your body and place it in front of you with your shin parallel to the top of your mat. Extend your left leg straight behind you. Rest the top of your foot on the floor and come into a seated position with your right leg in front of you and left leg extended behind you, as shown above. Keep your right foot flexed. Try to keep your left hip as close to the floor as you can. If it lifts off the floor, bring your right foot closer to your body. So your shin will no longer be perfect parallel. Stay upright and take at least three deep breaths. You should feel this stretch in your hips and along your left hip flexor. To repeat on the other side, return to downward facing dog, then extend your left leg high and bring it forward. Number five, recline figure four stretch. This is often called recline pigeon pose in yoga classes. Lie face up with your knees bent and both feet on the floor. Leaving your left foot on the floor, cross your right foot over your left thigh so that the side of your right calf comes to rest on your thigh. You may feel a stretch here and decide to stop. To go deeper with the stretch, clasp both hands behind the back of your left thigh and gently pull your leg toward your chest, allowing your foot to come off the floor, as shown in the image above. When you feel a comfortable stretch, hold 30 to 60 seconds. Slowly lower your foot to the floor, then uncross your leg to return to the start position. Repeat on the other side. Number four, recline twist. Lie face up, hug your knees to your chest. With your knees still at your chest, allow your arms to fully extend out to your sides, your gaze to go straight up toward the ceiling, and your shoulder blades to press down, feeling your back firmly against the floor. 
From here, drop both knees gently over to one side as you allow your torso to twist in the opposite direction and try to keep your upper back against the floor. Try also to keep your knees and hips in line with each other as you draw them toward the floor and keep your chest as square to the ceiling as you can. Hold this stretch 30 to 60 seconds and repeat on the other side. Continue to rotate back and forth, if time allows. Number 3. Happy baby. Lie face up with both knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Lift your feet off the floor and reach for the outside edges of both feet with your hands. Depending on your flexibility, it may feel more comfortable to grab your ankles or loop your index fingers around your big toes. Gently pull your feet toward your chest and let your knees lower toward the floor on either side of your body. Keep your back flat on the floor. Hold for one to two minutes. Number two, legs up the wall. You'll need a sturdy wall or door for this stretch. Lie face up with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor and toes touching the wall. Slowly walk your feet up the wall as you wiggle your butt and hips closer to the wall until your legs are overhead, fully extended, and your butt, thighs, and calves are all pressed against the wall. Keep your knees relaxed, do not lock your knees, and your arms comfortably at your sides. You may experiment with flexing and pointing your feet and then letting your ankles fully relax. Stay in this position for two minutes, or as long as desired. Number one, child's pose. Kneel on a carpeted floor or ideally, a yoga mat with your knees hip width apart and your feet together behind you. Take a calming breath in and as you exhale, lay your torso over your thighs, slowly bringing your forehead to rest on the floor. Try to lengthen your neck and spine by drawing your ribs away from your tailbone and the crown of your head away from your shoulders. Extend your arms overhead in front of you. You can adjust this posture by taking your knees even further apart or inching your fingertips forward to see what feels most comfortable. Hold for one to two minutes or longer. Incorporating these stretches into your daily routine can significantly alleviate the tension caused by prolonged sitting. They are designed to improve flexibility and promote relaxation, helping you maintain a healthier and more balanced body. Remember to breathe deeply and move mindfully through each stretch for the best results. Take a moment to appreciate the space you've created in your body and the peace you've cultivated in your mind. With each stretch, you're one step closer to a more supple and resilient self, ready to embrace the demands of your day with grace and strength. Thank you for joining us on this journey towards better health and flexibility. Keep stretching, keep breathing, and carry this sense of renewal with you throughout your day. Until next time, stay limber and live well.